Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll show you a number of different ways to find a missing email in Gmail. Let's get straight into it. There can be lots of reasons why an email isn't appearing in your inbox, but in this guide, I'll go through each of the most common problems related to how Gmail works to see if we can't find that email. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. The most likely reason you're not seeing an email in your inbox is because it has automatically skipped the inbox or been moved from it to a different folder in Gmail. Any new emails you receive will automatically go to your inbox first of all. This is the list of emails that is displayed when you log into Gmail. Let's start by checking out the most common folders that the email might have been moved to. This problem happens most commonly if an email has been identified by Gmail as a junk email, also known as spam. These emails are moved to the spam folder which you'll find in the left-hand panel of your Gmail inbox. If you can't find your spam folder in the list of folders shown, check out the Woggle guide shown above, which explains how to find a lost spam folder. I'll click into the spam folder now. All the mail in this folder is then displayed. It's worth noting that the emails that go to your spam folder are automatically deleted after 30 days. So if you think you received an email prior to that, then you may want to ask the email sender to resend that email if they can. Another folder that emails may get moved to accidentally is the trash folder. Depending on the version of Gmail you're using, this may also be called the bin folder. It also can be found in the left hand panel of your inbox. If you can't find your trash or bin folder in the list of folders shown, check out the Woggle guide shown above, which explains how to find it. Clicking into the trash folder, you'll see a list of all the emails that have been deleted. Similar to the spam folder, these emails are removed after 30 days, so you'll again need to ask the sender to resend this email if you think it may have ended up in this folder. The last folder we're going to look at is the all mail folder. Let's click into that in the left hand panel. This folder is a bit of a catch-all for every email that you receive in Gmail that has not been moved to the spam or the trash folder. If the email has been sent to your email address and you have checked that it's not in your spam or trash folder, then it's likely it will be shown in the all mail folder. If you still can't find your email, it's possible that rules have been set up in Gmail that automatically moved or even deleted emails if they're from a particular sender. To check for this, we need to go into the settings of Gmail. I can do this by moving my mouse to the top right of the inbox, and you'll see there are a number of icons in this area. But the one I'm interested in is the gear or cog icon. Let's click on that. This opens up the Gmail quick settings, which allows you to make some of the more common settings changes. However, I want to go into the details settings section of Gmail, so I'll click on the option button that says see all settings. This opens a new page that has a number of heading tabs. We're interested in the filters and blocked addresses section, however, so I'll click into that. At the top of this page is a list of filters that have been set up to work in your Gmail. These are just rules that tell Gmail to do something with an email based on its contents. If there are no filters in this section, then you can reasonably assume this isn't the source of your missing email. If however some filters have been set up and you don't recognise them or aren't sure what they are for, then you can easily remove them by clicking on the blue delete option on the far right of the row. Deleting a filter will restore any affected emails to your inbox. Before you leave this area, it's worth scrolling down to the bottom of the page to the blocked email addresses section. This lists all the email addresses that have been blocked for your Gmail account. If you don't recognize any of the blocked email addresses in the list, or you see the email address for the person you're expecting an email from, you can quickly unblock that address by clicking on the unblock link on the right of this row. Gmail will ask you to confirm that you wish to unblock the user, so click on the large blue unblock button to proceed. Unblocking a user won't restore any emails that were moved to the spam folder, so you may need to check that folder again or ask the sender to resend the email. If you still can't find your email, the last way to uncover a missing mail is to search for it directly. All searches in Gmail are carried out in the Gmail search bar, but it can be a bit hit and miss using this search box on its own. If you want to help narrow down your search, I'd recommend you click on the search options icon on the right of this bar. This opens up a window 
that gives you a number of predefined search options you can use to search for the sender of an email, whether the email has specific words in it, or even to search for the date on which the email was sent. Search options is a really powerful feature in Gmail, but if you're interested in finding out more about it, check out the Woggle guide shown above that explain how to search based on the email sender or even based on a date range for when an email may have been sent. I hope you found this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching.